And the worst category, most unoriginal, check. Most likely to put me to sleep, check. Most annoying, check. Absolute biggest douchebag. No. What? What are, you, what are you doing? What is this? I'm putting together that video you wanted. Fitness YouTubers ranked, best to worst. No, 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 I just said, keep it positive. I want to just talk about the people that are good, that I like to watch. You don't want the worst of the worst? No, no I don't like to cover that stuff. Do you guys want the worst of the worst? What, what are you asking them for? Well, I want to know what their opinion is. They're going to tell you they want to hear the worst. I want to just <laughs> stick to the pine. By the way, what makes you think that all I do is watch fitness? I like a lot of different things on YouTube. This list is killing my gains. <laughs> What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. So today I'm gonna to answer the question that probably has been asked of me more than any other question in my entire tenure here on YouTube, and that is, Jeff, who do you actually watch? Well, today I'm gonna to actually reveal that list to you. And because I don't tend to spend a lot of time watching people I don't like, I actually have a list full of people that I do like, and I'm gonna recommend them to you. Now look, I got twin sons at home, so I don't really have a chance to do a whole hell of a lot of anything. So when I watch, I wanna make sure that what I'm getting back is quality. I think you're gonna find this list is quality. The first person that you're gonna find on this list, in no particular order here, alphabetically, Dr. Andrew Huberman. Now I actually had a chance to appear on a recent podcast with him. He puts actionable advice at your fingertips. Now whether you wanna know about how much sunlight exposure you should get in the morning to optimize your health and longevity, or how cooling your hands can actually improve your output from set to set in your workout, this is the person you should be investing your time in. I love this channel, make sure you check it out. My next recommendation comes from another colleague of mine in the medical field, and we're talking about Dr. Brian Suterer. He is a physiatrist who breaks down injuries. And as you guys know, as a physical therapist, I can certainly appreciate an injury, and more importantly, how to rehab somebody from an injury. But what's really important for you guys is to understand how they happen. If you understand the mechanisms of an injury, you might have a better awareness of how to prevent one in the first place. The place to go to, and oftentimes, almost immediately after one of your favorite athletes hurts themselves, is gonna be this channel right here, another one that I highly recommend. And next up, we actually proved that all screen time is not bad screen time, because it's one I actually let my kids watch mean anything to avoid Choo Choo TV. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. But what we've got is bright side. And on bright side, you can learn a lot about something in a really short period of time. Or you can, of course, expose yourself to some sort of riddle that tests your brain. I'm someone that likes to test my brain from time to time and prove just how much smarter my sons are than me. The fact is, guys, if you haven't seen bright side, I'm sure there's some topic of theirs, especially since they publish every single day, that's going to intrigue you and it's definitely worth checking out. And of course, when too much education starts to rot in the brain, you gotta have somewhere to go from there. I like to just kind of decompress and laugh, and for me, I'm gonna go back to fitness and Don Mazzetti, Bro Science Life. Again, this is someone that's made me laugh for years, and more importantly, taught me some very important things, like leg day's really not that important, and arm day really is. And SARMS, well, actually stands for steroids are really much sicker. Bottom line is, guys, if you're looking for a laugh and you want someone who knows how to do it better than others, you're gonna have to check out Bro Science Life. Now I always say every good coach needs a coach, right? Someone to motivate and push them. And when it comes to motivation, there's one type of motivation that I like, and it's that in your face kind of push you to do things that you don't want to do. You gotta start with C.T. Fletcher. Not only is he a dear friend of mine, but he's been somebody that I have turned to for that motivation when I need it the most. If you can find someone that can light the fire in you when you least want to work out, then you need to invest some time in watching them. I will always rely on the great C.T. Fletcher to get me fired up, and of course, if you have an opportunity to have him take you through a workout, maybe you should pass. <laughs> and of course, continuing the theme of the type of person that I turn to for motivation, you can probably guess that somewhere on my list, this next person would be there. And actually, ironically, he doesn't even have a YouTube channel, but you've probably seen more YouTube videos of him than maybe anybody else. And it's because he can motivate you really well. We're talking about David Goggins. David, a former Navy SEAL, is hard, as he likes to say. In other words, you're not gonna find any way out, or at least not the easy way out, with him. And if you're looking to kind of puss out at some point, then I would recommend not watching this channel. But if you want to be called out on your weaknesses and made to face them to rise yourself to that next level, then you're certainly going to want to check out one of his many videos somewhere spread across the YouTube world. When it comes to pure strength, the guys that I rely on are the ones that have that applied science, the ability to put what they teach in practice. And for me, one of the best places to find that is going to be Elite FTS. And in particular, I've always sort of found myself navigating towards the Swede Burns videos. There's something about his ability to coach in that laid back but still incredibly effective way to convey whatever it is he's teaching. 
Let's face it guys, there's a lot of ways people approach different lifts, but when you find the person that can convey the idea in a way that clicks for you, it's a game changer. Not to mention, he's not the only one over there that's handing out incredibly valuable information. Whether it be Dave Tate or J.M. Blakely, the channel is rife with solid information. Definitely some place you're going to want to check out if getting stronger is what you want to do. And as I promised in the beginning of this video, the diversity of my viewing habits is not all about fitness. Actually, I'm a big musician at heart. And the first person that hits this list for me is someone that I came across on TikTok. We're talking about Harry Mack, one of the baddest cats on the planet when it comes to freestyle rapping. Typically, you give him five words or three words, he can make an entire song right there on the spot. His man on the street approach is also incredibly real and engaging and just makes you want to watch. And for all these reasons, guys, I suggest you do too. And by the way, Harry, if you're watching, carrot cake, face pulls, and dumbbells. Go see what we can do with those three. Now, I'm not surprising a lot of people with this next pick because a lot of people are watching him. But the fact is, I love watching the show on a regular basis, and we're talking about Joe Rogan. And the thing that's most appealing to me is that he actually shows a genuine interest in his guests, and not just interested, but wanting to learn from them and willing to have a diverse group of guests on his show. With an open mind, there's always something you can walk away with after three hours of listening to a Joe Rogan podcast, and for that, it's something I'm going to continue to listen to, and I recommend you do too. And by the way, Joe, I'm happy to come on and talk to you too. And so with that, we now go back to fitness. And guys, you know that Athlete Next is about putting the science back in strength by having the practical application and the hands-on application of science through everything we do. That being said, a lot of science is tough to deal with because it's inaccurate or it conflicts with itself. You need somebody that's willing to go through and kind of read the research and summarize it for you. And for that, we have to look towards Jeff Nippert. I have a lot of respect for Jeff. He's willing to take the complicated and make it understandable. And more importantly, make it understandable for people that don't ever really read the research in the first place. It takes someone truly dedicated to their craft to actually go through all that literature to leave you guys with nothing but the unbiased and fair representation of what it stands for. And guys, when you put it back with the applied science like we do here, it really helps you guys to take yourself and your fitness to a whole new level. And so not to take anything away from this next recommendation, because I am recommending them, I would say this person is the polar opposite of Jeff Nippert, both in terms of personality and probably content. But it doesn't mean he's any less watchable. We're talking about Jesse James West. You might be surprised that I actually watch these videos, but I really do, and I enjoy them. He does interesting challenges, lots of collaborations, and has a way of engaging the audience like very few can. And he's also young and good looking, of course, in great shape. Whoa, 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 whoa. Young, good looking, undeniably in great shape, that's me right here, the one Jesse that matters. I guess there's only room for one Jesse on this channel, but you guys should still check him out. By the way, if you're enjoying this list so far and finding a lot of people that you like to watch too, make sure you leave them in the comments below and also, who else do you hope to see on this list? All right, now back to my list. And then we have one more entry into my motivational go-tos, and for me, how can it not be Jocko Willink? Jocko is another former Navy SEAL and someone who knows how to get you to do something that you didn't really want to do in the first place. But more importantly, he knows how to make you a better leader. Of course, as a leader of my channel, I always watch Jocko to learn how I can better serve my followers and my viewers by leading by example. Not just that though, guys, he can get you to perform better in all aspects of your life, not just in fitness, but also in business and the everyday struggles we all encounter. If you're the type that also appreciates the direct no-nonsense kick in the ass that we all sometimes deserve, then make sure you reserve at least some time to watch Jocko Willink. The next channel I'm recommending here is one that belongs on this list for a few reasons. Most notably, because he's a friend and someone I continue to learn from even in his passing. We're talking about the great John Meadows. John knew how to break down bodybuilding better than pretty much anybody on this platform. And he did it in the most likable way. There's not a single person that could say that they didn't like John Meadows. And if you did, then you gotta check yourself because something's wrong with you. He knew how to break down exercises, how to make workouts more exciting, but most of all, he knew how to get more from you, a great family man, a great role model, someone I continue to be inspired by. For me, John Meadows will always be somebody that I recommend to you. Now, for anybody that's watched this channel or knows my professional background, I spent three years as the head physical therapist and assistant strength coach for the New York Mets. It goes without saying, I love baseball. But now I spend all my time watching John Boy Media. You see, he knows how to break down a baseball game in a very unique way. If you've ever watched the clips that he puts up pretty much every single day, he breaks down what the players are actually saying, let's say, during an argument, or what a manager's saying as he's getting kicked out of the game. I actually have first-hand experience with that since I could hear all these conversations from my front row seat in the dugout. Terry, 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 Terry. His ability to decode what these guys are saying and do it very, very well and accurately is something you just gotta check out. 
Next, we go back to fitness. And one of the things I've said from the very beginning of time is, don't give me another Jeff Cavalier or someone that's just going to copy what someone's already doing. I'm not impressed. But give me someone who thinks about something differently and makes us challenge the way we think, and that's got my attention. And I've mentioned before how I like to watch Knees Over Toes guy because he's changed the way people think about knee pain as a first-hand sufferer of it for many years and done so in a way that I think makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. We know the biomechanics of the lower leg require more dorsiflexion in getting that knee further out over your toe, so why would it not translate into the exercises that you do? It's a really intelligent approach, and as a knee pain sufferer myself, someone I've definitely checked out, and I definitely recommend you do as well. Next up on my recommendations is somebody that you probably know, or at least you probably know, his delts. We're talking about Derek from More Place, More Days. By the way, no one knows his last name, and that's another thing well done. You see, Derek has managed to brand his entire channel around his first name because people know him as Derek from More Place, More Days. In other words, they know him as their friend, someone that they can converse with. In every single video that you watch of his, you're going to get that tone of basically conversing with a friend. And I think that's the reason why people relate to him as much as they do. Now, some of his content doesn't necessarily interest or relate to me in terms of maybe revealing some of the specifics of steroid cycles, but for those that do find it interesting, you're at least going to be able to count on the fact you're going to get a reliable and honest answer to a difficult question and one that is rooted in a super physiological amount of knowledge in the process. If you're not aware of the next person on my recommendations list, then you're just not watching YouTube enough because everybody knows who Mr. Beast is. He really should be called Mr. Best because honestly, the person who puts the best videos out on this platform is Mr. Beast. No matter what you're interested in, you're going to find yourself clicking on one of his titles because how can you not? And it's not clickbait, because no matter how sensational the video topic may seem, he somehow figures out a way to deliver, and then some, every single time. Guys, if you haven't done so, like I said, crawl out from under that rock and make sure you check out some videos from his channel. Now while that mister may be known by pretty much every single person on YouTube, the next mister is someone that maybe not everybody knows, but should, especially if you're into tech the way I am. We're talking about Mr. Who's the Boss. Well, what Mr. Who's the Boss does is he puts a lot of time and effort into the quality of his content. Now whether he's breaking down the latest Samsung Galaxy or telling you to save your money on the latest MacBook Pro, the bottom line is he's doing it in a way that's very understandable and most of all enjoyable to watch, which oftentimes isn't the case when we're breaking down tech. For many, it's boring. When he does it, it's a hell of a lot more exciting. Everybody knows that nutrition and supplementation can be a very complicated science, especially one that's highly debated. But when you apply a knowledge, an extreme knowledge of the subject matter to a channel, you can actually start to approach it in a more objective way. And for me, Rhonda Patrick does this better than anybody else. At Found My Fitness, she's able to take extremely complicated subject matter and make you feel as if you understand every single piece of it. And most of all, like Dr. Andrew Huberman, walk away with some actionable advice, something you might want to add to your supplementation plan or something you might want to do or change about how you're eating and your lifestyle right now that could pay big dividends to your overall health. If you haven't checked her out yet, guys, I highly recommend that you do. She's one of the smartest people on this platform platform and beyond. Now this one might come out of left field for some of you guys that don't realize my love of music and my background playing the piano, but I really do love music and for me, Rick Beato is a must watch when it comes to breaking down music. If you've never watched the channel before, I guarantee you if you do, you're going to find something that's going to keep you hooked from minute one all the way to the last minute even if it's 30 minutes later. He has a way of breaking down music so you can understand what it is you're actually hearing. From the individual instrument contributions to a popular song like Rocket Man, or just breaking down his favorite part of a song like For Whom the Bell Tolls. And not only that, he's extremely passionate. And you can feel it from second one all the way to the last second of the video. With over 90 million people subscribed to this channel at the time of this video, I'm certainly not alone in being a fan of it. We're talking about the WWE. Now, growing up, I was only about 15 minutes from headquarters, so I had good reason to want to pay attention, but I just grew up loving wrestling. That being said, as a physical therapist and strength coach these days, I can certainly appreciate the demands of the job, and I find more joy and satisfaction in working with these guys, knowing that I'm always going to get the best effort they have. It's not just the entertainment value that we get, but it's the understanding and the appreciation you have when you know what's actually going on behind the scenes. And back when I talked about Jesse James West, I mentioned another guy out there who is doing something very similar who also has my attention. We're talking about Will Tennyson. 
Again, we have someone who's putting a lot of effort and quality effort into their videos and makes them very engaging. Whether it be taking you through a daily vlog and incorporating, let's say, a thousand clips to do it. Again, much appreciation because I know what goes into making a video like that. The idea is you're taking someone who's young and engaging and fun and also in great shape and overall be incredibly positive in delivering his message from video to video. They're certainly going to get my respect and also my views. Guys, I highly recommend you check out Will as well. And so with that, guys, you've got plenty of recommendations to go out and start, let's face it, watching a hell of a lot more YouTube. That being said, I also have some friends that didn't make the list simply because I didn't want to become a biased friends list. But I'm going to mention them here as well because they're worth a watch. We're talking about Matt Wenning, Alan Roberts, Chris Duffin, Pete Rubish, Shredded Sport Science, Joe DeFranco, and Mark Bell. Guys, all of them are worth a watch. And of course, I appreciate every one of you watching this channel and subscribing. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure you check to make sure you are subscribed. If you're looking for programs, guys, we have them all over at athletics.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you back here again soon. See ya.